Good morning. So today I'm going to be doing the Sleeping Beauty tag. I'm going to get started right away. First question, what is your favorite way to remove your makeup at bedtime? Cleansing wipes or full on wash your face? Um, one, I do not wear makeup every day. And two, I usually only wear eyes and lips. So I love the Olme makeup removing pads. I love them. They're so hydrating and they really um, are not um, rough on your eyelashes and on your eyelids. Um, and I like to use those because you can get them very cheap. And even if you have to use a handful of them, because my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara is so heavy duty that you really got to get it off. Um... It's usually what I do. What is your favorite cleanser or cleansing wipe or both? Um, my favorite face cleanser is the Equate version of the Morning Burst. I have tried so many cleansers since I used to use that. And you guys know because I talk in empty videos. And <laughs> that's like one of the best that I've used. Um, and the Equate Beauty for the most part, I've only had a couple instances where I didn't like the comparison things is amazing in terms of cleansing wipes um i really haven't found a wipe that i love love except for the kirkland ones that i used to use a few years ago everyone talks about the kirkland ones but they're good um number three what's your favorite waterproof makeup remover um i haven't found one that i like i know that the wet and wild one is terrible it burned my eyes um but I haven't found one yet, so if you guys have a good uh, waterproof makeup remover suggestion, please comment below. Four, do you exfoliate at bedtime? What do you use? A washcloth, Clarisonic? Um, I usually exfoliate in the morning, believe it or not, um, because if you exfoliate at night, this is my thing, is that you're going to go to bed and um, there's two versions of this. You're going to go to bed and then you're not going to do it till the next day. So whatever's in your bedroom, like dust or whatever, or, and then everything all day, you know, to me, wake up and you do it. But then a lot of people are like, well, whatever you had on during the day is going to be in your skin. But I um, use a toner. So um, I don't think it matters as long as you're using toner. I use it morning and night. Um, that's just my... I do it in the shower. I cleanse my face and then I use the St. Ives Even and Bright Scrub. I cannot use the Apricot Scrub anymore. And this, the Even and Bright Scrub is just so much better for your skin. Um, it's just lush. It's paraben-free, hyperallergenic, and it is just so much gentler but still does the job. Okay. Five. Do you prefer night creams or facial oils at bedtime? Um, honestly, I just use a serum and a moisturizer and then like an eye cream. Um, I don't use night creams. I have one day cream, but I hardly use it. I don't think it really does much. So it's not, I guess not for my skin. I'm sure I will start to use one as I get a little bit older, but, um, I just don't like it. What's your favorite anti-wrinkle cream and eye cream? Okay, my favorite eye cream is the Dual Eye Lift from Avon. It is quite crazy, but it'll last you months and months of use. It's divided into two parts for above the eye and underneath the eye, and one's like a cream consistency and one's like a gel consistency, and it's amazing. Um, ever skip removing your makeup at bedtime? Never. I mean, it's so easy. It's such a process for me. It's like tone my face first. You don't put toner around here or you will burn your eyes. And then the on my pads, I let them sit for a bit and then I wipe and then I clean up sometimes with the Q-tip or something. And that's about it. So it doesn't take that long. You could pretty much just do it as you're brushing your teeth. Eight, are you A, my head hits the pillow and I'm out like a light, B, can't fall asleep, or C, takes me a few minutes? Um, lately, I haven't been able to fall asleep, but now that I've been going hard at the gym, I fall asleep at night. Um, but usually, I stay up until like I can't keep my eyes open anymore, so then it takes me a few minutes and I go to sleep. Nine, they say we should have eight hours of sleep at night. How much sleep do you average a night? Okay, last night I got seven and a half night before i got eight you but before that like the last week i was getting four and five hours so um i try to get seven hours and i feel okay when i get seven even six and a half um and ten what's your secret to your good night's sleep um 
trying to relax as much before bed. Um, do things to pamper yourself or just relax, you know, read a magazine you've been wanting to read, put your feet up, light a candle, drink some tea, you know, do everything you can to kind of get your mind into that relaxation mode. Um, and if not, read a book until you can't keep your eyes open. <laughs> so that's the sleeping beauty tag. And um, I tag all of you, so go ahead and do this if you want. I'm going to be doing a lot of tags. You guys might get sick of them, but um, they're quick for me to do. So I will talk to you later. Bye.